so yeah uh, about the graphics of communication so this chapter is basically um how i thought we can just walk through the chapter uh, we have to um, we don't have to go through it we can just uh, try to finish the introduction and then move forward um <clears throat> So yeah, about the um, we have we completed how to add uh, markdown requisites to this uh, markdown, how to work with our markdown and how to add uh, different chunks with and how to use the, uh, how to uh, put the code and then write up as well to this. Um, so yeah. Um, we, here it's about uh, graphics for communication. Uh, oh, sorry. I think it's echoing somewhere. So, if we use the, um, if we use, yeah, if we use a lot of, uh, uh, if we use a lot of graphs in our communication, and you, uh, and we need a place to actually write a, a full scientific report, this would be um, uh, markdowns are very uh, useful. Um, it's going to the simple um, graphics for communication, like how to add, uh, how to add the labels, and then um, you can also add subtitle and caption, and you can uh, prove with whatever um, uh, options you want, like make it bold or make it this uh, little, etc. And then you can add dynamic um, um, x axis, y axis labels, like some equation if you don't want to um, just plot, um, uh, just have the normal labels. Um, so, yeah, there is one small exercise where you can, um, you just have to customize the uh, title, subtitle, caption, x, y, and color labels. And uh, uh, Mm, yeah, and there's also one um, uh, one point to comment about the GeoSmooth um, to how to fit models. Um, so yeah, um, next is annotations. Annotation has been super useful in graphs. Like if you want to write something inside the graph area, like point out the variables or the dots, uh, what do the points represent? All these can be added here. And uh, that is GG annotate. And there's also GG uh, text, uh, in, uh, which is a part of Tidyverse. And there is also, um, you can also have like uh, a GG repel to have this overlapping uh, separated so that you don't see everything crumpled. And you can also have like, uh, you can also um, uh, like properly uh, modify it with labels and best fit and nudging and then having a border across it um so yeah customization is uh, uh, useful in uh, ggplot and uh, very uh, totally possible and you can also um, apply gg since if you don't want all of these labels to come up you can what you can do is you can actually just uh, 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 select um uh, uh, which of them to uh, show you uh, like here uh, it has been uh, said that best in class so not all of the data but just the best in class and the best in class 
represented over here, which is uh, the descending order uh, have the uh, highest HWY. Um, so that's how you can just show a specific um, specific parameters or specific points only. Um, and then the next is uh, how to work with the legend. Sometimes uh, we don't want legends at all. Like I usually don't put legends for all the graphs I'm talking about, only one or the last graph that uh, needs the color code and the legend. So that's why I use a uh, legend position none sometimes, or if I want it at the bottom, top, right, or left. You can also add the, this as text or annotation inside the graph. So like geo text, geo, uh, there is anno just annotate. So another uh, important function for annotating. And then um, uh, if you want to add just a single label to the plot, like uh, adding, uh, oh, just give me a minute. Yes, if I have to just add a label to the plot, like increasing engine size inside the uh, graph area, I can do it uh, similarly, but I just use label as a written label like this. So, um, and then um, and then you just have to uh, plot it or uh, just show it as a label using geom text. Um, and then if you want to, if you are not sure of like where to place the, um, uh, like if you want to place the text exactly in the borders of the plot, you can use plus or minus infinity. Um, so uh, that is also possible. Like here it's written that position is uh, plus uh, uh, infinity, infinity, and then this is the text that you want. Slash n is usually for the new line. So uh, that is also possible. And then, um, yeah, this is how you can add different, uh, yeah, you can add line based breaks using a STR wrap so that they are all wrapped to uh, correctly. And uh, <clears throat> uh, there are many other geomes uh, to uh, um, annotate our plots like, Geom H line, geom V line, adding vertical line, adding horizontal line, like reference line. Um, and then you can make them like thick and draw them underneath the primary data which you want to show so that it's not drawing too much attention. You can also draw a rectangle around the point of interest, but you need to define the um, uh, uh, um, boundaries of the rectangles. Like uh, with using geom rect, you can do that. You can uh, use a uh, uh, geom segment with the uh, arrow argument to draw attention to a particular point with an arrow. So uh, X and Y will also show the starting location of it. Uh, and then you can try to uh, do that. Um, and then if you, uh, so there are, the, there are a few exercises which show how to um, add uh, geom text to infinite positions to place the text at four corners. And then you can also read the documentation for annotate. Uh, and uh, how can you add a text label to the plot without having to create a table? Uh, uh, this also can be done. And uh, we also have, we will also have to check out uh, how to add labels or using geom text interact with faceting. So uh, we could try that as well. And then what arguments to label and control the appearance of background box. Okay, um, these are something that we can um, check. And then now comes scale. Like all our plots need a lot of uh, scaling um, options. Like uh, if you have y-axis starting from negative, but only want to show the positive values, you can just say uh, like limits starting from zero to uh, any, or you, do, you don't need an upper boundary. So you can just put any, or you can say zero to hundred, same goes with X. So these are for continuous data. If your data is discrete, then you can use discrete scales. Uh, so all the naming scheme for scale starts with scale underscore. 
uh, followed by the name of the aesthetic. So, um, uh, yeah, um, you can tweak each of the parameters. Then you can also say that you want your um, x axis, y axis to start from zero. You can use expand. You can also have uh, the axis sticks yourself. Like you can define the axis sticks using breaks in the uh, scale y continuous or scale is x continuous telling that I want a sequence starting from 15 to 40, which increases by a rate of five. So um, then you can also uh, label controls the text label associated with each tick. If break is the actual cut where it happens, then label is what label it should have. So uh, if you can see there is no labels, if you put just labels as null, then you don't have any labels on X and Y axis. Um, then you also have uh, uh, breaks and label. Uh, uh, it, okay, collectively axis and legends are called guides. Axis are used for X and Y aesthetics. Uh, legends are used for everything else. Uh, another use of uh, breaks is when you have relatively few points and want to exactly uh, highlight where the observation occurs. Uh, if you see this plot, if you want to show where, uh, or like there are very few data points and then you want to show where it has happened. So you can just uh, use that as well. Like geo, you added geom segment and then you also added a, a, a X date uh, as first as null because it was date parameter and then breaks as uh, um, one of the <clears throat> start date of the precedent uh, uh, this data and then uh, labels as just the year. Um, if you see here, uh, date labels take a specific format. Uh, like it, it should either be like uh, by so if it's small y we all know it's just the last two digits of the year you can also add the full y or you can just add the month name using um, percentage small b and d etc um so we'll next uh, and also date breaks super important when you when we're working with x-axis on uh, with dates, you can always say what should be the break. Like you have years of data and you don't want to see uh, every year repeating. You can say two years as a date break or uh, something. Um, and then uh, legend layout, you'll most often use breaks and labels to do the axis. Uh, but, but there are some uh, other techniques you would want to try. Uh, so you can use themes. So theme is very, very uh, powerful. It can just change the look of your whole plots. Uh, if you can just see um, the legend position here, uh, all the four different positions where it could be, the default one is right. Um, and then you can um, add, a, like, um, you can add multiple things, like how should your axis looks like, uh, look like, or what background you need to have. All things can be manipulated or used in themes. Uh, to control the display of individual legend, uh, use, uh, we can use guides along with the legend guide or color bar. So the uh, these two examples, uh, the following examples shows uh, controlling the number of rows. The legend uses the end row uh, and overriding one of the aesthetics to make the points bigger. Uh, it, this is particularly useful if you have a low alpha uh, or, do you know, you don't, uh, just give me a minute, I'll connect my charger. Yes, yeah, so uh, we were discussing, yeah, a particularly useful if you have a low alpha to display, like we can have this uh, uh, done for these two important settings. And then uh, we can also, um, uh, like, uh, you can also replace the scale altogether. Like most of your, uh, like if you want uh, position scales or color scales, uh, you can also do that. You can have bin data set, uh, you can show bin data set like this with log or just the uh, um, values like that. 
but the, uh, uh, the disadvantage of transformation is that uh, this is not a uh, Sorry, I think I went on mute. So, however, the uh, disadvantage of the transmission is that uh, the axes are now labeled with the transform values. So, uh, you will have the transform values here. Uh, so, instead of doing transformation aesthetic mapping, we can just do it with the skin. So, this is visually identical, um, except that the axes are labeled with the original data. So, another uh, scale is that uh, you can. Uh, customized color right? you can say which color palette you want you can also use scale color brewer with different palettes or scale color manual with different values and there are multiple uh, sets available So that is also this color brewer documented online with color brewer org and has made the uh, palette available. If you just see there are multiple hues of uh, yellow, uh, uh, blue, green, everything. And then also different palette altogether. So if you have a uh, predefined, you can also have a uh, predefined mapping between value and what you want to use using scale color manual as I um, was um, telling before. So you can just, if, if for this example, you can use one particular color for Republican and blue for Democratic. Uh, and then for continuous uh, color, you can use the built-in scale gradient and gradient two for a diverging scale. Um, you can just see how it works, looks. So um, you can also use uh, uh, with uh, Viridus, uh, uh, as the um, like as um, as another palette, so I'm not. I think Viridus is uh, colorblind friendly as well, so it's more accessible. Um, and then you can also use just color X and fill X, or uh, color X, uh, color Y and fill Y to uh, change the color and fill uh, respectively. Um, so there's also a super good option of zooming, which I have never tried, but I'm sure it's super helpful uh, by setting the X limb and Y limb and uh, coordinate Cartesian. Like if you just see, this has been zoomed in plot and this has been the whole plot and uh, it's how it looks. Uh, it's very, uh, I think when we want to see what's happening in a jump or sudden jump, uh, you can just see where it's uh, happening. And you can also set the limits on the individual scales like that. Um, so if you, uh, so, um, so what happens is what I found out super late is when we try to bin the data, like, uh, sorry, we try to limit the, uh, in scales that it's as good as subsetting the data. So it's not that you are, the data is already there, but you're just, uh, uh like adding some limits and showing only, no, you are actually subsetting the data. Um, so, uh, yeah, we can, uh, yeah, you can just try and see how it looks. Um, so one way to work on this problem is to share scales across multiple plots. Uh, sorry. I think this is to show, uh, we can have, um, different plots, but, uh, since both of them have different scale, it's difficult to, um, it's difficult to uh, see what's happening, to talk about, to tell about the story. But if we have the same scales, then we can actually talk about it in a similar way. So, um, yeah, this is how uh, scales are super important. And then uh, finally, you can uh, customize the uh, non-data elements of a plot, like the border, and then uh, what should be the background. If you see, there are some themes already available, which I usually use um, theme um, uh, minimal uh, theme, where it can be used for plotting of uh, of like maps where you don't want to know the lat long because you already know it, you have the sense of it, but then you, uh, uh, yeah, but then for other things like normal uh, line plot, you need uh, uh, access labels, etc. cetera. Uh, um, so this was, uh, so the default one is a theme gray, uh, but you can uh, use all of them. Um, I really like minimal or 
the line draw or the uh, black and white because it also shows the point line where it passes so that you need not search where it's uh, uh, where it's uh, going around um yeah uh, and then yeah you can choose whatever you want um but you can also customize your theme that's what uh, i've seen people doing um uh, let me know if you have any resources like that and uh, also saving the last and final thing is saving the there are two options there are there is one option to save it as gg save which comes with the gg plot package like just save it as a pdf or jpeg etc and you can also size your images with the out size out height out width and out height and uh, figure width figure height etc uh, so uh, as the book author says that uh, they find figure width and, and uh, the golden ratio uh, more um, uh, like more uh, aesthetically pleasing other uh, and then the uh, they also control the output size with output and set a percentage of the line width uh, to like they have 70 percent and they align the figure in the center uh, so there is uh, that gives plots uh, room to breathe uh, and then if you uh, if they have to put uh, multiple plots in a single row uh, and then they can um, set with 50% for two of the plots and then 33 for the other two so that overall they have uh, uh, all of them aligned um and then yeah this if you just look at it uh, they can also maintain the uh, uh, yeah as i mentioned the ratio um uh also uh there is something which i have never tried out mingling with code and text uh like i do in this book i recommend setting figure dot show equal to hold uh so that plots are shown after the code so uh, this has a pleasant side uh, side effect of forcing you to break up large blocks of code a code with the explanations so we can definitely try this and also add a caption uh, to the particular plot using figure.cap this will change the figure from inline to floating um so um yeah and I, you can also uh, try to uh, use png using um, set device or def equal to png they're slightly of lower quality but will be much uh, and then uh, it is highly highly recommended to uh, name your code chunks that uh, uh, produce figures even if they don't routinely label other chunks uh, so the chunk label is used to uh, generate the file name of the graphic on the disk so um, uh, naming chunks is very much easier to pick up plots so uh, learning more there's a whole uh, book i think called ggplot2 elegant graphics for data analysis and it's much more in depth about the theory and uh, many more problems uh oh this is not available for free but you can find the source code uh at ha um, hadley's github page um another great resource is this one tidyverse or uh, ggplot uh has many packages which that extend ggplot with new geoms and scales and uh, yeah you can definitely try it out Okay. Um, thank you so much. Let me know if there are question, any questions. No questions.